hello so today we are making some faux leather earrings and I'm going to show you how to get them all ready in Cricut Design Space so both of these earring patterns are from Cricut Access so if you have that they will be free if you don't have Cricut Access you can go ahead and click the link in my description to get that um, there is a free trial if you've never had it before and it's a great way to get access to tons of images as well as a discount to Cricut.com so both of these earrings are included and you'll see they have the little dots. These are going to connect your earrings with um, jumpers or I'm sorry, I can't think of the word hooks, <sighs> jump rings. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I do not like to cut the dots into my faux leather. I found that it makes them rip more easily and I use the rotary blade to cut most of my faux leather and then they just can't make that small of circles. So I'm going to go ahead and take those out. That being said, I do still want to know where to put those dots so they line up perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate my image. So click on it and then go over here to the duplicate button. Now I'm going to click on contour. You'll notice right now it is not highlighted. That's because I'm on a whole group. So I just need to pick one of these. So I'm going to click that one and now I can click that contour button. I'm going to go ahead and hide all the contours and then um, it did hide both of the earrings, so I'm just going to unclick that one so I have both of those. Okay, now you'll see I don't have the dots. Go ahead and repeat that for the rest of your project. Now, I also have these earrings, and they're cute, but I don't really like how these top ones are so big. It's kind of funky looking to me, so I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Over here you'll see I'm on this group, and I'm just going to hide that top one. I don't like it. And then I'm going to duplicate one of the other layers. So I've selected that. I can select it over here in the list or just click on it over here. And then I'm going to click this duplicate button again. All right, now I have that. And look, there you go. Now I have some earrings that I like. Now I'm going to repeat the process of duplicating this and getting rid of those holes. Um, but I am still going to cut one of the earrings with the holes and that's because I'm going to use it as a template to know where to poke my holes into the faux leather. Okay I have all of my pieces cut out now so I've cut the faux leather without holes. It is plain. Um, this is the faux leather from Dollar Tree so just a little plug-in for that. Then I cut one template with holes just in a cardstock. You could use normal paper. I feel the cardstock is less likely to bend um, so I just used a scrap of that to cut my template in each um, size. Then go ahead and line them up and get um, a pin and poke these. This is a special pin that came with my kit um, that's supposed to be meant exactly for this, but you can use any pin. It really is just a normal pin. So go ahead and line up your things and then poke where the holes are on each of your pieces. Okay, so I did just want to tell you a few things about the poking. So when you are poking your bottom pieces, so in this case, this pink triangle, and in the hexagon case, this brown one, you do not have to poke the bottom holes. The template will have it, um, but that's just for jump rings in case you want to extend. So I did not poke the bottom one. You, it would just be an unnecessary hole. Um, then also, if you're doing this particular hexagon one, it's actually meant for a necklace. So the template has a hole in each corner, but I just did the hole in the center instead um, to convert it to an earring and hopefully um, that will work. I'll let you know. So now that I have all of my holes poked, it's time to put in the jump rings. So I got these from Michael's. I used a 60% off coupon. So it was like 50 cents or something ridiculous for a whole bunch. I love them. Um, then you also will want some sort of pliers. Sorry, I got to push them down a little. Um, these came in a three pack. There was a cutter and then these two um, grabbers. They all work great. I don't need the cutter for this one, um, but I'm just going to use one to hold and then one to pull the jump ring open. So let me go ahead and show you that. Um, you can pick it up. I usually pick it up with my finger just because I'm a little better at that. And then um, hold it in the plier, grab it with the other one, and then just kind of twist. Okay, now it's open. I can go ahead and poke it through. I really love this pink. It's actually a pink suede. I know it's kind of hard to see. Um, it's just so light and has a real like leather-like look. I think the faux leather, sometimes I'm like, that's not really 
anything like leather. Okay, so I've poked it through. So sorry, guys. Okay, um, and it's still open. So I'm going to go ahead and put the next one through before closing it. So I'm going to have this floral pattern in the middle. Um, this one is a faux leather, not a faux suede, so it's a little thicker. Okay, the pattern faux leather is always so thick. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and poke that through as well. Make sure my fronts and backs are lining up. Sorry, I'm doing that off camera. Let me lower it a little for you. Okay, and then squeeze it closed. The nice thing about jump rings, they do come in multiple sizes, um, but in some situations you can also overlap. Okay, let's see if my holes are good enough. Okay, so this one is going to be a pretty close together set. It doesn't have a lot of space. Um, and that's just going off of the holes that were in design space. I do think I shrunk this earring down a slight bit. I'm trying to remember. Maybe that was just the hexagon one. It was large because it was for a necklace. Um, but I think this one was left as is. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and pick up another jump loop. Do the same thing for my top layer. Um, and that is also the faux suede. So... Go ahead and poke it. Let's see if I can find my hole. That's the trickiest part here. Okay. Um, this, um, both of these actually, the faux suede as well as the patterned faux leather are from AliExpress. I typically, before Dollar Tree came out with their faux leather, that's where I bought all of my faux leather. Um, now I do like the Dollar Tree stuff. It is very thin, um, so that can be good or bad depending on the project, but um, before that, I was a solid AliExpress girl when it came to faux leather. Um, during the pandemic, things changed slightly with their shipping times, shipping methods. Um, so I'm not sure how much I will purchase from them now that Dollar Tree also has it. Okay, so I have all of my pieces connected. They are a bit wonky. That's just because I am struggling with it being on camera. Okay, now I have this top hole. It's time to put my earring in. So I'm going to go ahead and open a jump jump ring. I keep wanting to call them jump loops. Don't know why. Okay, so I've got that in. I'm going to put that in the top. Now you're going to want two jump rings. So this one just goes into the earring. I made these before without those two jump rings and then they end up sideways. So unless you want your earring to be sideways, which maybe you do depending on the pattern, um, you're going to want two. So I put that one in and closed it all the way off. Now I'm gonna grab my earring piece. Um, these also were purchased at Michael's with a 60% off coupon, that's how I do things. I love that you can actually, they always send those coupons. Here, I'm just opening another one while I talk. Um, they always send those coupons and then you can't use them for Cricut things, which is what I buy the majority of the time. So I love when I find something I can use it for. Okay, so go ahead and slip that into your other jump ring. And then before closing, put the earring in and just make sure it's facing the correct way for your ear and close it up. All right, it's as simple as that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and fidget around with this, adjust it how I want, um, and then I will make the other sets. Okay, I do wanna show you one other time where you might wanna use this template method. So I was making these really cute llama earrings. This is a patterned faux leather that I got from AliExpress. Um, but the llamas were pretty large, and I really wanted to make sure that I got as close to a full llama on each earring as possible. So in, if you had an iPhone or an iPad, you could use the Snap Tool. I do not own any Apple products. So instead, I cut out this little template. Again, just a scrap piece of Christmas paper that I had. And then I got the faux leather, and I just placed it on and did it the good old-fashioned way, pen around and cut. So I did use the Cricut for the template, but then I just cut the earrings by hand so I could make sure that I got um, that perfect placement. And I still did mess it up. If I were to do this again, you could use a clear, um, like the acetate paper or something to cut the template. That way you can really see what's underneath. I just used a scrap that I already had, but then you can really tell what pattern you were getting. All right, and now I'll show you all of my cute earrings. So I do have these llamas like I was showing. Um, another cool tip, and I might do this, probably not for these, but you can add heat transfer vinyl to the back. Um, so if they twist, you um, don't just have that boring color, you have a little pop. 
All right, and then here are our cute arrows that we finished. Again, all of these templates are in uh, Cricut Access. So these turned out super cute. With this patterned paper, I just let the Cricut cut it um, and just went with what it showed. I didn't um, specify what area to cut. Okay, and then those hexagons. These turned out super cute. Um, I did have a tiny bit of rippage on, oops, on one of the Dollar Tree faux leathers, but I just poked a new hole. You can hardly tell. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll just keep showing these earrings that I've made while um, my links pop up. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I love this purple. Okay, and again, any questions, let me know. These are all on Cricut Access. Thanks, guys.